Before his senior season, Burgess didn't think he would be drafted, but he impressed the scouts in his final year and at the Combine and was told he would hear his name called. Second night, I knew it was like iffy, but I'm thinking more, so I'm going the third night. So it was kind of like whatever. And, you know, the, the night starts to get to the end, and I think it was like after pick 100, my family started, they were like, oh, well, Terrell's probably not going to go tonight. Like, they started thinking about what we're going to have for breakfast in the morning because the draft is early Saturday morning. They're talking. I'm sitting in the room like, dang, you guys are already counting me out. There's still a few more picks. Counting Burgess out is never a good idea. And sure enough, in the third round, the Rams selected him with the 104th pick. My phone started ringing. It said Thousand Oaks, California, and it was like, Instantly, my heart started racing. Like, I don't know, it was the craziest experience ever. Burgess was overcome with emotion, as you can tell from the Rams' recording of that call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. You're awesome, bro. It worked. <laughs> Burgess had actually talked to a bunch of teams and had no idea it would be the Rams who drafted him, which he says happens a lot. I wouldn't say that I heard like, oh yeah, we're thinking about getting you, nothing like that. Teams just like showed a lot of interest in me. I had a lot of meetings where they tested my my knowledge of the of the game and I think that's where, where I shined in the process. Burgess watched the draft as a kid and will watch again this year. And if the Rams decide to draft someone at his position, he would welcome the challenge. There's always room for improvement and if the, the Rams decide to draft another defensive back, then I think Let's bring him to the party and we'll see, you know, it's only got to be competitive at this level at all times. So just let's just keep moving. And for those players who will be sitting around on draft night, waiting like he did to hear his name called, he has some advice. To live in the moment, you know, like there's no guarantees of what's going to happen. Just live in the moment, enjoy it. Your time will come. And when it comes, it's an emotional feeling. That's all I have to say.